Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is the third in the three set deep dive on reproducing this kind of effect, the starburst or sunburst effect, where you have a very narrow aperture like f20 and you catch the sun just on the edge of the building and you get this rather nice star effect. And you also get some of these bokeh or lighting effects which you may or may not want and may require some editing afterwards. Anyway, we're going to reproduce this. And in the first video, we used this as the basis, and then we put in the sunburst first of all. And we set the center of the sun just off to the edge here, and along the line here, so that the vertical spikes here, you wouldn't interrupt the edge of the picture. And then we added the bokeh here, which are these curves and lines and coloring like this. So we had four different types of these lens effects. And we can, when we come to this, we can always look at these things and say, you know what, I think I'd like to just do a little bit of tweaking on this. And because we're totally non-destructive, so I go to the curve here. Then if I went the move tool, you can see it's this one here. But I'll just go separately, I'm putting back onto the, the view tool there so that I've still got it selected so I can see what I'm doing which I'm going to take down the opacity of that. It's a little bit too in your face, so I'll take that down a little bit. And if I go to the donut here and use the move tool with this, I think I've got the center a little bit off. See, the center should be on this line here. So I'm going to drag the center down that line here, and this here should be just off to the edge. I'm going to center it on this. And the reason for this is to make sure you've got the centers aligned. Just so if I want to hit control shift and drag this out a little bit which i'm going to want because i want to put a bit of a bloom on here then it just sort of keeps the the right place on the image so now then what we're going to do now is just close up the bokeh and start producing other effects and the first thing here we got is it's a kind of a bloom around the sun here so we're going to do this by going to the shape tool here, right click and get to the ellipse and put that in the center, control shift to get it coming out from the middle here, whatever it was set before. And we want this to be white, so we'll just click and drag up there to be white. And we want to put a kind of softened gradient across here, but we want most of it to be white. So rather than using the gradient tool, we're just gonna blur it. So I'm going to go to the layer effects here and click the Gaussian blur and then check as well so that when I turn the radius up, in fact, I can get up to 100. I could type a bigger number in here if I wanted to, but that's actually OK there. I can control shift and adjust it if I want to. And then it's kind of a bit bright over here, so I just can turn the opacity down. I could use a blend mode. But I think it's OK just to turn this down here. So around about 50% for now is good. I'm going to might need to go back to this quid and kind of overlay other things on top. So for lighting, then I will go to the live filters here. And if I go to the lighting here, I get a very different effect here. If I drag on this end, it rotates it. If I drag on this end here, it moves it. And this here makes it brighter and less. You can actually see the direction effects here, that, it, that these things, when you move them, are actually moving sliders here. So I could sort of bring this out, move this over here to the edge there. If I want the rest of the picture to brighten up, I turn up the ambient light. So this is quite significant here. And you can get this kind of effect like this. This might be OK. It might be getting a little bit bright here. So I might turn down the overall effect here, or I might use a blend mode. So this is one way of doing it. But actually, I'm going to change this. I'm going to go to from a spotlight to a point light, which is kind of suits this a bit more. It just needs to be in the middle like this here. The specular and shininess here, you can play with these to see if they have an effect. But here, I think we can just turn this down. Just play with these, see what they do. And that bring that down a little bit here so I can see a bit more 
what's going on here. The distance just makes this bigger and smaller. So you just look at the effect this is having. So it's bringing out a bit more light on here. These we don't need to worry about. If you play with the texture, see what it does. You can't see much happening here. So we're going to leave that in the colour. We could put this a little bit more orange just to give a little bit more light. And let's just adjust this to whatever colouring you like. And see the way this is actually affecting the rays here a little bit more as well. So maybe just a little bit of tweak on this or slight colouring effect on that. And then do we need on this lighting to change the opacity of that again just to, go to suit that as we like it and go back to the ellipse and see if we need to change that again. So that's OK. We can even go to any of the bokeh here and change the lighting on that. So for example the, that donut there is looking a little bit intrusive. Let's turn down the opacity of that. So that's just a little bit softer in effect. Another thing we can do on here is to add a fill layer. This is just an extra trick. You can try, see if it works for you. If it doesn't, don't worry. Go to Layer, New Fill Layer. And that puts on a complete white. But I'm going to put a gradient across here. So I'm going to go to the Gradient tool. And if I want to see this, where I'm doing this, just turn the opacity down. I can see, there we go, that's where I am. So I'm just drag across there. But this puts a linear gradient across. Let's change that to a radial gradient. It now comes out for the sun. It's still now rather strong in effect. Even though this fill is, is you know, the opacity is down here. So let's try putting on a blend mode, maybe something like soft light. So you get more of a contrasting effect. So if I turn that off and on, see the way on the right hand side there, it actually makes this, there's a greater effect over here and that, that balance it puts across it. And last of all, I'm going to go to the adjustments and go to the brightness and contrast and just turn up the contrast of the image. Just a little bit, see the effect I'm going to get with that. Again, it's building contrast between the light here and the rest of the image. Maybe just a little bit there. So there we go. I shall click the top one there and down to this one here. Shift click to that one there. Control G to group it and then call this one lighting. There we go. And so now we've got those three effects and we've got to turn the lighting off and on to turn the bokeh off and on and the sunburst off and on. We'll select them all. So here was the before picture and here's the after picture. And it was kind of reproducing some of the effects found in here. Anyway, that's it and thank you very much for watching.